Now, for more on this, we're going to talk to Paulo Sotero. He is the director of the Brazil Institute at the Woodrow Wilson uh, International Center. He's up there in New York City, as you guys I can see behind him. Uh, Paulo, good to see you over there. Uh, Stephen was talking about how big this deal means to Brazil, how big it means to the people, but also how big it means to the companies who have been trying to get into oil exploration in Brazil. Give us your perspective on that. Well, the pre-salt is finally open. Uh, seven years after the discovery of this, the findings of this immense uh, uh, royal reserves, Brazil, after changing the regulatory framework and adopting a new system of, of sharing, uh, has uh, produced this first auction. Uh, the companies, uh, four international companies, have joined with Petrobras. Actually, the discussion in Brazil is not about opening uh, Brazil uh, to the, those fields to foreign companies' participation, but actually is to open it more to foreign participation. Speculations, analysis in Brazil are that the next auction, not to happen before the next October presidential elections, will probably be, occur under a different framework, one that makes uh, the pre salt more attractive to more investors and make the bidding uh, more interesting for Brazil and for the companies. I mean, I, I, I suppose the argument that's being made by the general public is that as you open up your economy to others, that they potentially not only take some of the jobs, but a lot of that money goes back to foreign countries or companies. But the other argument is that if you don't attract the foreign companies, you don't have the investment to create the jobs at home. So it, it, it seems like there's that constant debate that we have here in the States, or a lot of countries have that. Are the people in Brazil, are they united in the sense that they want to welcome foreign investment into Brazil? Well, I believe that is the sense of the people bringing more foreign investment to the pre-salt oil and for the Brazilian economy in general is a key to make the country more economically competitive, more productive, and to create more jobs, more industrial jobs in Brazil. So industrial and service sector jobs in Brazil. So the discussion is not about not opening the pre-salt. Petrobras is certainly a, a competent, capable company, but the debate in Brazil, including the Dilma Rousseff government, is that we are asking too much uh, from Petrobras. It's time to lighten the burden of Petrobras and open it more for more participation for companies, uh, from companies that were absent this time. And I believe that this is the debate that will take place after the assessment of the first uh, auction is uh, concluded. Paulo, these, these protests, I want to ask you more about it. Um, what's the conclusion of these protests? What do the protesters want? I think these particular protesters were about uh, against, uh, against opening up the pre -salt. They are associated with one part of the ideological spectrum in Brazil that is to the left of the, working, the Workers' Party that uh, holds government uh, today in Brazil. I think the majority of the Brazilian population is open for more foreign participation. Uh, these protests, I think, will dissipate in the next few days. The question that is being uh, to be resolved between the workers of Petrobras that are on strike now, right now in the company are a wage increase. They are asking for up to 12 percent wage increase. Petrobras has offered 7.5 percent, I believe, and this will be a subject of uh, negotiations in the coming days and will be resolved. All right. So they want to raise. Paulo Sotero, they want thank to you. Raise. <laughs> Thank you very much from the Brazil Institute at the Woodrow Wilson Center in New York City for a change. We'll see you back here in Washington, D.C. soon.